part of me it's so something to believe we belong together that sounds familiar Who is that? who's gonna sing who's gonna <laughs> I love Who's that Diego gonna... is in the back. Na, 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 we belong na, na. together. <laughs> <laughs> let's start. Let's start. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Ladies. <sighs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt Emmy's nut we scratch. Doing. You know what I'm saying? Ladies and gentlemen. How you doing? It's your motherfucking boy, Gamero, the Pharaoh, the poor man's Robert De Niro. You know what it is, you know. Uh, I am also very ecstatic for today's episode. Uh, I am joined here by my main man, you know, to my right hand side. A man whom I've known for the longest time. A man, you know, who's been loyal, who's been uh, a new face in the uh, midnight in Miami endeavor in this new beautiful set that we call home. Ladies and gentlemen, you see him with the Hawaiian shirt on deck. You know what I'm saying? Beautiful with the flamingos, with the Miami vibes going, getting the right energies so we can get that dub tonight. Shout out Miami Heat. You know what I'm talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, to my right hand side, we have Emmy in the his house. What's going on? What's going on, Emmy? That's that hype right there, dude. I like it. Gotta hype, gotta hype it up. Gotta, gotta hype it up. Hey, we're two, uh, we're two old down, but we're gonna make it back. And the Dolphins didn't look too good today either. But we didn't get to see the ending. Um, I'll tell you what, uh, they look better than Liverpool. I'll tell you that. And speaking of Liverpool, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> behind the cameras. You know what I'm saying? We have a man. We have a man who has a jersey, a Miami Heat jersey on, of his favorite ever Miami Heat player. Ladies <coughs> and gentlemen, you know what I'm talking about? He is trying to cover the, the number, but that is undoubtedly a white side jersey, his favorite player in all of the Miami Heat Of all Heat time. History. Yeah, all that time. 21. That's a direct uh, quote, you know, from... Uh, from Diego himself. Ladies and gentlemen, you know what I'm saying? The barber of Doral. You know what I'm saying? The man who's going to get you right for date night. You know, you need you need scissors. You need a, a balder. You need a shaver. You know what I'm talking about? You need to look right for, to maximize your, your chances of, of, you know, eh, eh, eh. that's what you do. You hit up Diego. Because you know what? That's what you're going to do. You're going to combine two worlds. You're going to go on, eat, food, sleep, repeat. You know what I'm talking about? See one of the recommendations that they have for a date night. You know what I'm saying? Go to that restaurant. But before you go there, you go to Diego Miami Barber. You know what I'm talking about? What's going on? Yeah. Results may vary. You know, results <laughs> may vary, you know? Um, That's why we brought legal counsel. For sure, for sure. You got a 24-hour warranty. I how you fuck, baby. Uh, and ladies and gentlemen, I am also very ecstatic, uh, you know, to introduce my next guest. Uh, this is a man that I've known for a long time, a man that I, uh, I, I participated uh, and, and was my, my comrade in my, uh, my school days, you know, my, my uh, academic career, if you will. Uh, you know, we've. We've uh, cheated off each other on tests, you know what I'm talking about? We slept during class, you know what I'm talking about? And, I, and you see the picture allegedly. right there. Allegedly. Allegedly. Um, and, uh, and ladies and gentlemen, uh, this man to my left-hand side now has a food blog that you can uh, check out. Uh, and, and, and this man, you know, alongside his, his, uh, his, his partner in crime, they go and they, uh, they review a variety of different foods uh, throughout the, mostly the Miami area, am I correct? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you know, one half of eat, s food, sleep, repeat, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, to my left hand side, we got Francisco Albert, what's going Ooh. on? AKA Pancho, what's poppin'? Thank you, thank you for having me. Oh my Hell God, yeah, you know. I like the energy, man. There's a lot of intros, almost messed up the name, but it did. 
That's what counts. <laughs> Brother, what's going on? Talk to me. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for uh, joining us today. No, thank you for having me, guys. Thank you, thank you. Sorry I didn't bring food. No, man. No. I mean, we're kind of, <laughs> you know, we're kind of expecting it. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I pulled up and I had uh, my McDonald's. I was like, oh, shit, Pancho's going to get here. I need to eat this quick, yeah. dude. He's just that high-quality stuff, dude. Oh, yeah. Uh, Pancho, talk to us. Um, you know, because knowing you, you know, growing up, last thing I would have thought of, you know, thought about is that you were going to get into the uh, food review game. How, how'd that come about? Talk to me a little bit about the creation. So, um, obviously, like Emilia said, I used to, like Emilia, I used to eat really bad food right now, you know, to McDonald's, terrible food. Dang. Thank but, you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a piece of shit. I'm a piece of shit. I yeah. <laughs> when I was single. And then uh, one day I started dating this Vietnamese girl, now my wife. I love oh. you, baby. Oh. <laughs> um, and then I started trying all this crazy new food, crazy new food, like things you never even heard of, things that, you know, in Asia is very common to, you know, eat, and things that they have for breakfast that over here we wouldn't even think about having for dinner. Right. Or, you know, stuff like you that. You guys only do Asian food? No. No, no, but that's how it started, because I, I, I used to try all these new things that I wanted to show people, you know? What's the best way to show people? is through social media. Like, I'm not going to be texting... 60 of my friends. I don't have 60 friends, but if I have 60 <laughs> friends, I'm not going to be sending Shout a picture. It's like, hey, by the way, like, look what I ate today. You no, know, yeah. This is the location. We, we wouldn't be friends for yeah, long. Yeah, yeah. That'd, be, that'd like, be annoying. Yeah, yeah very annoying. Sure. I think I did that with Juan for a little while. I was like, please check it out. Never answered. <laughs> uh, totally answered. That's why you're here today. Hi. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, so we started reviewing. And at first, it was like very shitty. Like, for example, like we'll post an ice cream and, we'll, and the caption will be like, strawberry ice cream. Yum. You know? <laughs> And then one day just started kicking off, you know, we got into the game and then we started reviewing. It's like, okay, let's, instead of, you know, everyone knows the most popular spots. You go and you're like, okay, which one's the best taco spot in Miami? Best is because everyone goes there. You know what the tacos are. You know that they're going to offer you this. But then what me and, and Tram will do, we will go to that little tiny food truck in the back of like an alleyway that like, it's like a random person that doesn't even look like a person should be that, you could get shot tacos. but it might be worth it for this damn taco. exactly and then we'll Beautiful. go try them and they're only like a dollar and 50 cents a taco so you're like yo these must mm, be terrible those are good but then we right? get those, those the and then we get those and we like we're like hey guys go check this place out and then you know that's how it that's how it started in a dark alley. That's how Emmy uh, gets his uh, Hawaiian shirts, you know? Hell yeah, on that low. Uh, on, on the, the low. low, hell yeah. I hell know yeah. that guy. I know that guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He works right next to the taco shop he was Bro. talking about. He has a white uh, jersey. Uh, yeah. Those low-key low transactions. Um, so, I guess how, what makes you guys, I guess, feel like, let's take it from something that's like us just sharing with a couple friends, you know, something that you're, you know, playing around or whatever, to something a little bit more serious. I know you were telling us that now you kind of have like a, a portable like uh, uh, backdrop for your food that that you can take and you know while you're taking pictures or whatever the case. Like at what point did it start taking a more professional, more serious approach? So um, there was a one point where my boss was wasn't in the office a lot, and I kind of have those jobs that I had those jobs that whether you did a lot or whether you did a little bit, you know, you get paid the same. So I started taking a lot of that extra time uh, researching what can you do with an Instagram page. And um, I started researching that there was this girl that she had 119,000 followers, and then she would eat every day for free. Every single day she would eat for free. She had 119,000. Oh, okay. Thousand. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, damn, I need a fucking. I was like, I can use some food right now, bro. <laughs> so I, I started doing this, and I was like, okay. And then I would start getting random followers, and then like when we hit a thousand, I was like, yo, that li like everything is possible now. So I started doing the research and I was like, you know, the more followers I can get, the better food I can eat and most likely the less I will pay for food. Oh. Which is... That's the goal. That's right the goal. There. Yeah. That's the fucking goal. And slowly, yeah. I, I think 2020 has been the best year because of quarantine. We've had so much more time to grow, so much more time to develop and revamp the blog that, you know, in a, just a few months at the beginning of quarantine, we gained like four or 5,000 followers. Damn. Like, Very cool. Just Holy by shit. putting that extra time and then restaurants started noticing, and then they're like, okay, now we want to have Efusly repeated here, or, you know. But, okay, speaking about uh, quarantine, how do you feel that, you know, a lot of restaurants right now are in jeopardy of, of closing, and 
lot of them already have. How do you, you know, from a food blog or food critic's perspective, how has that affected you? Um, I know you guys have gotten, you know, a chance to be a little bit more productive. Um, but have there been some of your, you know, higher rated restaurants that have closed down due to it? Luckily, none. One restaurant, going back to tacos, that there was this is little corner taco spot that we used to love. It was like super or like original double corn tortillas with like only like two ingredients but like the best tacos ever and they closed during quarantine and that Damn. greatly affected me i went to depression <laughs> is that the one by uh marlin stadium yeah dude they they started, oh my god and they closed they closed for like three four months okay but they're back yeah, yeah now they're back because those are the guys that started as a, a like food a truck, truck. but yeah. it was like a truck that didn't even have more it was just but a now white it's a brick truck. and mortar it, now it's a it, it was like it's a carrito. sketch brick and mortar why sketch brick and mortar it was like it's a, a fine sketch brick and mortar it was a carrito a, like literally started yeah, and then a food truck and now a window yeah it's very cool but, but it's, it's like a, but it's a like it's attached to a building it, it is yeah a, yeah, yeah. It's you, a, but there's no sitting or anything it's like you buy and you go Oh, okay, okay, okay. But yeah, they're like, like when I start, the, yeah, when yeah, I started, there were two dollar tacos, you know, like so they were amazing. And then they closed, and you know that greatly affected me. But we actually like going back press, to press <laughs> they use like, the way I use the food blog is not just for like personal gain, since we have a lot of followers, you know, we have thousands of views weekly. D during quarantine, we really wanted to help out restaurants, so we would put on our stories like, hey, if you're a restaurant that needs like free publicity, messages, uh, message us, and we'll like post about you. And so every day in our story, we had like, hey, go visit this place, go visit this place, go visit cool. this place. You know, um, we would like, obviously, we don't expect free stuff during quarantine. So like if a, mess, a restaurant would be like, come try our stuff, we'd be like, you know what? They just go to a restaurant, try their stuff. And sometimes, you know, they, they're grateful, too. So just by going, they give us like a 20, 10 percent like during quarantine. Right. That, I mean, that's very cool, dude, especially. And they in need trying it, times. Oh, exactly. Especially in those trying times when you got the, the half of the people don't want to go right out of exactly. fear of it. And then the other half of the people don't know if it's open. Exactly. You know, because I just assumed everything closed. I, th I figured like they were just, they closed up shop for a while. Yeah. Which sucks, right? Because you could tell it's not like, a, everything is cash in the taco spot. Best fucking tacos. Yeah. Not Best anymore though. They changed. They're growing. Yeah. They're growing. That's awesome, yeah. dude. That's gang shit, man. Now do you feel, do you feel, um, is it, do you find it difficult to uh, sometimes when you're going to go review a spot? And let's be honest, it's not good. Maybe it's not your cup of tea. What do you do? I mean, what I like to do in the food blog is just post what we like, you know. And yeah. what's worse than somebody lying to you? Like, for example, compared to an Amazon purchase. You go buy an Amazon purchase and you see all these five-star reviews. And you're going to buy it. And, and then you're like, well, how the hell does this shit have five stars? Imagine you go and you go see a review about a restaurant. And it's like, hey, best arepas out there. You go to the arepa, it sucks. I'm not going to post about it because my the people are going to think it's good. They're going to be like, oh, this arepa looks great. And then even, they go. even if they give it to you for free? Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I will yeah. never never post something that's Integrity. Bad. That's what we call yeah. integrity. It's beautiful. And so, but they what do you, tell what you. Do you have? Well, so, would you have, you know, the face, la cara, to tell the owner? Because I'm sure they're going to hit you up like, hey, listen, we gave you a $60, you know, $100, whatever the case, you know, meal. We didn't see any posts. What's your response? To be honest, it hasn't happened yet. And one time I had f food that was like okay, but it was uh, like Colombian food. Like it was on a, I don't know, what you call, una paella colombiana or whatever. No. Uh, and they have ice now? Yeah, that. And uh, it, was, it wasn't great. It wasn't great. I, I love it. Una paella colombiana. <laughs> <Awesome>. <laughs> Low key disrespectful as <laughs> fuck. <laughs> It was like, it was okay, but we still posted about it because it was also during quarantine and it was like, all right, they can use the publicity. And they gave us like, they didn't even let me tip. They gave me like, even a colada at the end, like it was like the great service and a lot of that makes up a lot for like not extremely great food, but it was still good food. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. gotcha. Do people tend to know, so do you enjoy when you go to a restaurant that you know you're going to review, they haven't hit you up. Uh, do you enjoy the fact that Typically, the servers don't know that you're there to, to review them, or do you do you want them to know so so you kind of get better service, or do you want to be perceived as any other regular customer so a regular customer would know what the experience would be like? I mean, yeah, like you said, when when they know that we're going, we uh, we get like that extra special treatment. Like they there was one time where where they charged me by mistake. 
I was supposed to get like a hundred dollar tab for free and they charged me a mistake and they're like, Oh, we're so sorry, like Mr. Francisco, like you know, like if I was a regular <laughs> customer, they're never gonna come down. Oh my god, like we're so sorry, like just treat me like a regular human being. And it's not like I'm not famous. Yeah. Stop, <laughs> Stop please. <laughs> I kneel down. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, yeah, they, I just love being treated like a normal person. But it's also nice. It's also very, very nice to be, to be treated a little bit special. Like yeah. the, <laughs> the last experience we had, uh, we went to this restaurant in Miami Beach called Pizzet. Super good. Pizzet, Miami Beach. Very good. And I'm not just saying this because they paid me 50 cents to say this, but oh, yeah. <laughs> 50 cents. Oh, yeah. um, but they, they come and like they put the menu and I did, at first they didn't know who I was. And the service was great because like the lady was like, oh, like this is that, this is that, you know, we have the discount, blah, blah, blah. And then like two minutes later, the manager realized who we were and then he comes, like he takes our menus. He's like, I hope you are hungry because we're about to feed you so much great food, you know, like. <laughs> It's very nice to be treated like the lady treated us, but then it's also very nice to come treated like like you're royalty or something. Oh yeah, that's the best world, bro. What? Yeah, yeah, and it's and it's always extra nice when like the bill comes and it's like influencer discount. Oh, yeah. Wait, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, Show like like I, it, <laughs> yeah, they told me to, to. They told me to brag, so I'm gonna brag, yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. Flex it, bro. Let Flex me it. fucking tell you. Okay, no, and uh, am I allowed to curse? Oh yeah. Okay, cool. No, oh okay. for sure. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to prove. I, I, I want to make sure I wasn't gonna get bleeped. <laughs> and no, but yeah, and uh, but it, it really it isn't about the free stuff. It really isn't. Like, what's it, it about? It's about showing people food that they've never like been introduced to. Like I. Yeah, getting out or, of like the food comfort zone, or not even then ju just that, but getting out out of your comfort restaurant zone. Like, yes, you you go to the, all these restaurants, but let me tell you about these restaurants. They're offering you the same food, but probably way better better prices. Blah, blah, blah. Like people who go to Cheesecake Factory, why? Yeah, I don't Damn, get that I either. Shit on I, them, nah, but I also don't get it because then somebody I mean, explains to me that they have real food there. Yeah. Well, that's like saying macaroni grill, and I found out they got damn burgers in there. I'm like, what you mean? Really? This, Gotta make pasta. There's this place, Clutch Burger, Coral Gables. Clutch Burger. Clutch Burger. Yo, best burgers in Miami. Guaranteed. Clutch Burger. And you see, and it's just like this. Like, this is what I'm doing the, in the food blog. Let's say you right now, your followers looking at my page, and I'm telling you, hey, Clutch Burger, best thing. And then after you see it, like, come up in the feed a couple of times or in like my story or whatever, you're gonna see the burger and I'll be like, what I wanna do? I wanna go try it. Yeah. That is what I wanna do. And just. What, oh, what yeah. was. What was what, what was it about Clutch Burger that made that experience so remarkable? Well, the service is great, outstanding. First of all, it, the service has to be great. So give me, yeah. so so for the Ouch. first time, so for the first, you know, for the uh, <laughs> listeners that were that would listen to, you know, a, a a review of sorts. What would you give them as far as like price range? As far as you know, how would you describe Clutch Burger? for the uneducated person that needs to know everything they need to know about the place? You know, price range. Everything that you would present to someone. All right. So we <clears throat> let me tell you real quick. <laughs> let me spit game. <laughs> Clutch Burger is a spot. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. So, I mean, the, the burgers are technically, I mean, they're expensive, but they're not overpriced. So you get like Wagyu b beef mm -hmm. and they're very gourmet. Like they're big, man, like huge. Fud Rockers type shit. No, Fud Rockers is like half the size of these burgers. Like, wow. These are fat burgers, That's and the impressive. most expensive is twenty dollars, and the cheapest is sixteen. But they're not that bad. But, yeah, it I has definitely to, but, paid more for worse. Yeah. So if you're saying it's bigger than Fud Rockers, it must be like a five pound patty. Mm, I don't even know. For, I haven't had Fud Rockers in years. Fud Rockers is like a, a pound. I mean, I haven't been to Fud Rockers in a while, dude. So, but these huh? are. These Half are like, pound? no, they have a pound. For rockers, if you're listening, tell yeah. us how heavy your burgers are. <laughs> <laughs> tell us how, how heavy that meat is. <laughs> Damn, so Clutch has fat burgers. Yeah, All so right. big burgers. And like they, they have this thing called the Clutch sauce, which is just like this, like. It's clutch. It's Clutch. <laughs> it comes Clutch. Sure they started this one. Like, you remember when Clutch was like prime yeah, vocabulary? Was, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like the owner's. This guy, Steve, shout out to Steve. I'm going to send you this video so you can hear yourself, right. Steve. 
<laughs> and <laughs> we'll be out there, you know. No, so and he out. and he owns the spot with his wife, and him and his wife just create these burgers, like, and they put like, for example, I don't know, just like uh, pork belly in between, or like, or like this fried onion, but like, tip, not the typical fried onion, like, it's just like something spectacular, and something is just as simple as like two patties, some cheese, a little sauce, and that's it, and it's, mm. that's one of be the best burgers, guarantee. My mouth is watering and, now. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing, and. We might have to make I think I'm gonna go after this to be yeah. honest. If you guys are down, we might have to make because this McDonald's is no longer Clutch, sitting hey, well. Hey, Clutch Burger and Heat game was good. Yo, this is no longer kinda sitting down, well. This kind of down. Uh, we they, might have to wrap this up early. You know <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll take the podcast on the road. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that idea. And they do like these events, like they do like bingo, they do heat heat games, they do all this crazy stuff. So tell me, do you have a preference when it comes to you know the mop, mom and pop? You know, two dollar taco uh, spots, or you know, you head up your girl. Shout, put on your dress. We going out. I'm putting on my tux. I'm putting on my suit, and you going out to the decadent. You know what I'm saying? The royale. You know what I'm saying? The top of the top of the top. You know, and you're gonna spend money for a good. You know, you're not gonna. You know, <clears throat> we're gonna forget about this evening for the rest of the year because this is a one time thing, sort of thing. Um, do you have a preference? Do you like feeling, you know, like you're at a a five star, three star Michelin you know, yeah. joint, or do you just like the convenience and you know wearing the shorts of going to a, a two dollar taco spot? You know, both. Um, sometimes there's a special night you want to have like a a good, I don't know, let's say in a date. For example, my girl, she was in Vietnam for a month, and she Vacation? got back. Yeah, vacation, and then um, when she came back, one of the first spots, I mean, the first spot we from the airport, we went to Manny's Wood Grill right here in Doral, and it's like a very nice, like, five-star-ish um, uh, ste- steaks and Argentinian grill and all that. Shout out Argentina. Yeah, Manny's Wood Grill. <laughs> 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 anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, don't know, yeah. I try to hold it. I try to hold it. <laughs> and, and that's nice, closer. you know. And that's nice. But like when I know that I can be spending like twenty dollars max on myself or like fifteen and then like my girl another fifteen and like for like thirty bucks we're like eating great food uh, at a great price. Like we really kinda don't like overpaying for food, you know. Like, there's a food truck that offers me this meat, this exact same meat, like, like, picanha, for example, and then it's, like, $15 a pound or, like, $10 a pound. And I know it's great. Why would I, other than, like, if it's a special occasion, why would I want to go sit down at this expensive restaurant, you know, when they, it's already going to be, like, $100 for two people? And I maybe still be hungry afterwards. Because yeah, because those yeah. restaurants to me is like the experience. You're not there for exactly. The food, you know. Yeah, when I see the portions, I'm like, "Where's the rest of it?" You know, like yeah. exactly. And yeah, because you're there for how they treat you and all this shit, you know. Exactly, yeah. and it's nice, you know. You get to dress up, you know. It's like I want once every, you know, blue moon type thing. But like, I rather sometimes I rather do just take out and go home and you know enjoy a movie and like I don't want to be. I hate wearing suits. Even though I'm in law school, I'm gonna be wearing suits for the you rest of my the life. the right fucking profession, man. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I hate wearing suits. Bro, just show up in shorts and a fucking bro, like Jean Day, bro. Like, <laughs> like, Jean, like Jean Day. Day. You, you pay, pay a dollar. You pay a dollar, <laughs> you pay a dollar in the courtroom, and you just show yeah. up. You vibe out. Yeah, you know? it's casual Friday. Yeah, yeah, and a little supreme hoodie. It's fun, yeah. fun tie Friday. You know? <laughs> Dude, Jean Day. Huh? You pay a dollar, it goes to the city. <laughs> yeah, and you're good. Hey, that's a great fucking idea right there. You know. Yeah. You pay a dollar, the lawyers are comfortable, you know, yeah, exactly. the judges are vibing. Smoking a joint. <laughs> <laughs> you, you pay an extra dollar for that. Hey, Your Honor, <laughs> this shit's some good shit. <laughs> Your Honor, he's innocent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> so, yeah, I don't have a preference. I mean, I, I, my preference is really the cheaper spots, you know, just because they usually, they tend to give you more food. And sometimes it's even better quality, you know. Do you? Uh, sometimes. You, yeah, for sure. Do Link. you feel pressure? Uh, right now. <laughs> 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 do you feel any sort of pressure to, to I guess, to, um, to have them receive a a return on on like followers if they give you free food? One hundred percent. One hundred percent. So what i usually do after i mean before i was i i felt even more pressure that i would pay for ads for example like somebody would give me something 
I will post it and then I will spend like I don't know like five dollars on an ad just so it can like reach more people and more people can see it. But that was at the beginning when I wouldn't have like as many reach. No, now uh, pro promoting the the post exactly. Um, and then now like if somebody gives me something like I always keep track. I'm like okay, how many followers did they have when the when I st when when I before I posted it? Okay, and a day later, how many do they have now? There was this nice lady um for Maggi Avino. That she gave us a, she brought us a cheese, uh, a charcuterie, whatever they called. Mm -hmm. Charcuterie board. Yeah, very nice, very big, and she when she gave it to us, she had like 200 followers, and I think up to this day that has been our most viewed post. We had like 25,000 views on it and like 2,000 likes. It was like a very popular post, and then like within a day, she already had gained like 20, 30 followers. Wow. And then, you know, within like, now she has like 500 something. Nice. I want to think that I was like a, a, a big part of it because other than, other than being viewed and, and, and commented and liked so many times, it was saved and sent to like people 70 something times, 80 something times. Damn. That's so, a wide reach. Yeah. 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 So I always keep track of that. Like, I want to know, was it worth it for them? You know, and if it's a restaurant, I also always, not just Instagram, I also go on Yelp and TripAdvisor. I give them a review also for having us. But I always, it's like a big pressure to like, okay, I got to make sure that it goes right. And one time I had like some Indian food delivered to us and that one didn't go well. I had like very little reach. Very, and I kind of, in a way I kind of feel bad, you know, it's like these people pretty much paid us to do this in a way paid us with food mm -hmm. and I didn't like complete my mission in a way. I you mean, know? you completed it. It's just, you. I mean, you can't, do you, do you, do you promise them a certain amount of, no. uh, of return? No, no. Never? I tell them, I always tell them what I expect, you know, like, hey, we have, for example, our last 10 posts have all reached t at least 12,000, at least 12,000. I expect this post to have around maybe 10, maybe 15,000 views, you know, and a large ma majority are going to be from Miami. And the thing about that is that not, not everything we deal with is, is in person. Sometimes we get stuff shipped in, you know, and so... Even though I'm in Miami, somebody in Washington, they can be, they can see our product and still, you know, have their stuff shipped. Oh, so that's happened before? Yeah, yeah. So give us an example of uh, someone that's uh, shipped something. So right now we're doing a giveaway. If was leave repeat giveaway time. Ding 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 ding. List. Okay. I'm sure our old band professor is very happy. Yo, shout out Edwards. At our music. Hey, shout out Edwards. You beat the case. You know what I'm saying? You didn't go to court for uh, throwing the cane at that little kid. He did throw that cane at the little kid. I, allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. You know? Allegedly. And, uh, so shout out Edwards. Beat yeah. threw a cane at a kid? Yeah. You remember? They tried to... They hit... There Santiago. Was a, shout out to Santiago. Shout out Santiago. There was a detective. Deception. There was a detective that hit me up and he wanted me to testify against Edwards. Yeah, same here. I was like, no. No, no, no thank you. I, I thought I was in trouble. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> I was like, what cane? Yo, I just stood up for Edwards. I was like, fuck that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, oh, honor. Yeah, respect. Yeah, it's because we or had, his crutches. We had locked this kid in the lo in the locker. <laughs> that, oh, is that the dude we we dropped yeah, in the tuba locker? No, 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 no. no, no, no. So there was, was this. There was the Colombian one. He, not, not. he used to uh, fit. He used to fit in the in the instrument. <laughs> oh, I know what you're talking about. Of course, yeah. bro. Yeah, he used to fit in the lo in the locker. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're saying a like, <laughs> like flat face. Yeah. yeah. He used to fit in the lockers yeah, of the man. instruments. And we used to lock him up in there all the time just for fun. Yeah, and, but he, he used to approve of it. He's like, yeah, this is fun. Like, do we it. We had consent, all right? <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, we, we locked him and then he'd be like, ha, ha, ha. And then one time, Edward came into the room and, like, we unlocked him and like, we all ran. And then as he was trying to run, this kid, like, I think he, like, pulled him by the ear. Like, he threw his cane at him he or some shit. Allegedly. Allegedly. He had, Allegedly. Crutch. He had crutches. Yeah. This was over, like, 10 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's, that was one of the ones where he was chasing me around both This was, doors. like, 15 years ago, circle, actually. Dude. This is like 50 Dude, years a long ago. time ago. Yeah, because yeah. this. And then, oh, and then the next day, I was getting calls by like the FBI or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking <laughs> FBI. Ch right? Child abuse, dude. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he became rich after Santiago. He, no, there's no yeah. way. Yeah. There's, no, there's no way he actually. Went did you? But sue that Santiago? happened in middle school. Yeah. Santiago, if you're listening. I never got a call for that <laughs> shit. Did you sue? <laughs> did you sue? Also, I, Santiago, I why that. didn't we get together and sue together? Dude? Yeah. That, nah, I, Edwards. Not Edwards, bro. But you know, DMS. Somebody, man, DMS. DMS. Somebody has money. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> what? Times were tough, dude. Uh, <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> Yo, or those chocolate bars. They're on there. Hey, well, yeah. famous chocolate you know bars, what? baby. Even if even if I didn't make my money on the lawsuit, <laughs> I made my money on those chocolate bars. Bro, bro. Yeah, you yeah. burst into that chocolate, into the chocolate closet. I know you what? remember. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How we would just take boxes Yo, of boxes. that shit, dude. Bro, it was organized yeah. crime. That's how crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> we were peddling chocolate, bro. I look, hey, we were the chocolate pushers, baby. So, you see, we were in sales. Exactly. We, we got the training through exactly, that shit. Bro. Exactly. Damn Thank you, DMS. <laughs> <laughs> Shout Thank out you, DMS, DMS Dolphins. Yeah. Thank you, uh, D- D- Miranda. Yeah, so going back to the giveaway. Right out mm. of the bushy tail. Yeah, giveaway. Right. So right now, a couple weeks ago, a company co- reached out to us. They do keto brownie mixes, keto cookie mixes, keto everything. Oh, shit. You know, low sugar, low carbs. Keto. Or keto. Keto. Keto? <laughs> Shout out Keto. <laughs> yeah. You on Keto? No, yo, yo como un poquito de todo. And uh, they, they sent us this brownie mix, <laughs> cookie mix. And by the way, um, my girl can cook anything. You know, she can follow the most complex recipes, most complex recipes. And she messed up. The, the cookie mix. It was like <laughs> the the in the instructions were like literally pour the cookie mix, butter, egg, cook. And she messed it up. <laughs> she poured melted butter and they're like very hot, steamy hot melted butter. It melted the chocolate chips, so it turned a uh, cookie into a, a chocolate cookie without chocolate chips. Sorry, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Throw her under the bus like that. No, but she can cook like, and then like she'll see like a recipe with like a thousand steps that takes twenty four hours to cook, and then she like do it, you know. He said she could cook, not bake though, you know. True. She yeah. she does bake some good stuff, yeah. just not those cookies. Just not the cookies. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the company sent us this, you know. We review it, we made it, we posted about it, and then they reached out to us again. Oh, they're in California, by the way, so they shipped us that stuff. And so then they send us, they they're like, hey, do you want to do like a giveaway? All you gotta do is just like host a giveaway, you know. Like uh, the comment, follow this, follow us, and then you choose a winner. And then they're going to ship it out straight to whoever the winner is, no matter where in the United States. Very cool. So those are one of the companies. And then another one was like an alcohol mixer that they sent us like free samples. The alcohol mixers actually, I liked it, but it was bad because I didn't have alcohol in my house before this. And then (laughs) they pretty much forced me to buy alcohol. They're like, look, I have all these mixers. Let me just buy a bottle. And I, ever since then, I've always had alcohol in my house now. Always. Yeah. Quar- quar- quarantine stuff. Quarantine necessities, if you will. Things. 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 And that's Diego's input. Thanks for yeah. that. Yeah, thanks. Um, <laughs> <laughs> thanks for that. Um, <laughs> Yo, legit, it feels, it, feels like we're in, it feels like we're in the cafeteria in Yo, DMS. Yo, I, I feel, it really does, it really All does. All we're missing is a food fight. Bro, a solid food fight. I'm done. Speaking of. I'm done. Um, do you, I mean, give us your, your recollection your, uh, of when we had our, our, our many food fights. Uh, I mean, you go first. I mean, there's the very memorable. Do you remember when De Miranda took the Hawaiian punch can to the face? Don't know. Dude. I mean, I think we told that one, though. And then we had, we had this one. Do you remember that it went into the stairs? Dude, I remember. Oh my remember, God, dude! You remember, you remember blackouts? Fue un de fue un de you remember pelote. blackouts? They would turn off the light. They would turn off the lights and like push people. No, I remember they would turn off the light, and by the time they turn on the lights in the cafeteria, food was flying. Dude, no, but I remember they would do blackouts was in the hallways. Prime. Yeah. It was, it was crime. crime. It was the purge. The lights are off. The, beat the it, shit out of the person. And there were and the things that in the hallways there were no windows, so it was pitch black. That's terrible. It was horrible, bro. Plus, I was the smallest kid in school, so it didn't yeah. matter, bro. I yeah. was uh, freaking dead anyway, That's why dude. you hung out with Lucas and me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hell yeah, dude. We're tall as hell, dude. Fuck Ridiculous, shit. dude. Uh, Pancho, um, mm-hmm. what do you feel is uh, like a food blog's, you know, uh, goals? Like, what are your, some of your goals for the 2021 uh, you know, food season, if you will? And also kind of like a second parter. Do you guys ever partake with, uh, I believe it's called uh, Miami Spice? Oh, yeah. We love Miami Spice. What, uh, what are some of the places that you guys check out? There? Um, I mean, I've only tried once. Uh, one, sorry. It's called uh, Amare or something like that. Okay, yeah. But it's in Miami Beach, I believe. Yeah, it's in Miami. I, I don't know if the name was Amare or like Imare or something like that. But my girl, she's like big into brunch and big into like hanging out with her girlfriends and like 
you know, brunch, <laughs> all that stuff. And so she loves going to it. She always takes advantage. Bottomless mimosas. Oh, yeah. But yeah, all that good stuff. And she loves trying. And she likes the. She also, like, if it wasn't for me, my girl would be eating out, like, more fancy places all the time. Because she's more <laughs> like that. She likes, you know, g- great quality. Right. Like, she loves... Like a fancy Italian restaurant. Not fancy, but she likes like the Italian vibes. You know, she loves right. pasta and all of that. So she hangs out with her friends and she goes to these restaurants. And yes, they take a lot of part in my Miami Spice all the time. And the goal, my goal or like a food blogger's goal? Your goal with the food blog. Oh, okay. Um, well, we're planning to launch a website soon to kind of right. turn it in more into like a, like a real blog. Okay. You know? Um, better recommendations, bigger stories. Because also Instagram just limits how much you can write. And our captions are beginning, like, very long lately. Also, we want to post, like, recipes, all of that. So the main goal, I think, for 2021 will be hit 20K followers by January and then, you know, get on that website. Um, what, uh, what are some of the ways that, we, you know, when you were first starting out, you know, you guys are, what, like, at 15K followers or something along those lines? Right? <laughs> all right, what happened? I can't look at the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I try not to either. Um, but <laughs> um. Again, dude, I feel like I'm in the fucking cafeteria <laughs> in the MS, bro. Yo, I feel like when you were interviewing me for the newspaper article. Yeah, um, do you know about that? I did not. Yeah, I used to write for the newspaper in school, and then one day. <laughs> I just had to interview because he, he did like a movie. No, like, I did like a show. He, no, he, he was like, oh, the vampire was, movie. Was it the movie? Yeah, no, I think it was for a play. Yeah, he, it was because we were he doing did like a, a No, you did Incubus. I, I did, but he, I think it was, he was like a, He was like a background actor. That was like, you know the one that moved their mouth? They're talking. Nah, chill. Yeah. I had a character. I had a character. I wasn't an extra. I was a character. Yeah, and I was, and I had to interview. I was like, so how did everything? You know, how was everything? And I, I didn't even turn it into a story. Like I just literally wrote the question and the answer. The question. <laughs> answer. <laughs> I was terrible at that shit. But we oh, sat down oh. after school in a fucking corner. Yeah, like we were trying to like get it done. It it literally t- like today. How I was supposed to be out of here by five, and yeah. we we started at five yeah, thirty. Yeah, like that. Like it that. was like that. <laughs> we were supposed to start after school, and we just start cracking up every like two seconds. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was chaos. a mess. It was. Chaos. But at least we posted it, and he probably you still have the newspaper. I'm guessing. Ah, uh, it was probably in my mom's closet somewhere. <laughs> Lit. Lit. Uh, <laughs> Lit. Uh, but shit. um. Uh, you know, with uh, a food blog and a food website, or, you know, things like that, obviously a following is extremely important. What are, and now with, I think you guys have like 15K followers now. Yeah. What are some of the ways when you guys, when you guys first started out um, that you guys promoted yourself to be able to grow so much? Um, at first, we kind of used a lot of, not a lot of ads, but like every month I would spend like two, three bucks, which on Instagram, that's like many days of advertisement. If you haven't advertised on Instagram yet. Uh, with like two, three bucks, you can reach a lot, like thousands of people. So that that's what kind of how we started. When I, I'm telling you, that day that I read the article that the girl with a thousand, a hundred and nineteen thousand followers is eating for free, like that shit changed me. I was like, yo, I need to eat caviar and lobster every fucking day for free. As long as all I gotta do is post it on Instagram, fuck yes. So and then I, like I told you, my boss wasn't around all the time. So I, yo, I whip on my phone, and the best way to do it is just. Follow, 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 follow people, follow people, follow. I never use like fake followers. Like I never bought a follower. I never, you know, those they promise you hundreds of thousands of followers for free. I mean, for like two bucks. No, nothing. It's just like follow, follow food blocks mostly. Just follow, follow, follow. Whoever follows back, you know. And at one point, like for example, I was following a thousand and I only had like two hundred followers. Then I was following like two thousand and I only had like five hundred followers. But then slowly, I would keep track with like a third party app of who wouldn't follow me back. And I would kind of just like even out that number, onto a point that is like once you hit a certain once you hit a certain number, the followers just start coming. You know, so that's after we pass 10k, and then you see actually see the k, people tend to follow you more. So right now, I can na- see that for sure. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, at one point, the followers just started coming. But you know, like at one, at first it was hard. It was like just literally try to follow people and try to get them to follow you back. And that's literally how. Yeah, because I'm done. that dude that if you hit me with a follow, it says follow back. I just click the button. I don't yeah, know. Exactly. Yeah. And a lot of people do that. And and a lot of people, I mean, you see the people that you can tell a lot of people do this because sometimes I don't follow everyone back. But sometimes you see the same account trying to follow you like six, seven times within like two weeks. 
Mm-hmm. And like this person doesn't care about my blog. Like they're just trying to get or their the follow. follow back, yeah. Exactly. And then a lot of people also, also like you know they they follow and then you follow them back and then they don't follow you. Like that's annoying. But that's literally the only way like that I really grew that much. Just follow, follow, follow. And then I target targeted a lot of um, Miami pages too. I try to comment on shit. I just try to see my name, the Efusly repeat name, somewhere. You know, even if I all I have to do is comment and tag Tram, I'm like, oh, this looks so good. You know, as long as people get to see that Efusly repeat right. somewhere. And what? <laughs> And now we have stickers I, too. I really do feel like we're in the fucking cafeteria, bro. <laughs> and now we have stickers like this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The avocados, boy. Uh, there yeah. was a graphic designer. It was, yeah. <laughs> oh. and, what was the pro- it, was, it was done yeah, on like Adobe. Uh, Photoshop. Adobe, photo, photo, oh, photo yeah, yeah. Word. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I put them around um, Winwood. Well, I, I don't put them around. Yeah, it's kind of. Bend on the I give him. I hand them out. I, I hand them out and people. I hand them all to the walls. To the, and people put them in the walls sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. So <laughs> if you go around Winwood and you go to like P, you may see like right in front of you, if it's the repeat, you know. Hell yeah. Hell see yeah. That, that avocado. Yeah, and the gables, you might find them around. I don't know. I Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> allegedly. And yeah, I just really try to get the name out there, man. Um, when you, uh, you know, when, when, when people say what's the best blank and I'm gonna say a couple, you know, blanks right now, what comes to mind? You know, just how you said best burger is clutch burger, you know, best pasta. Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, right. Yeah, right there. Yeah, I got, I got mesmerizing. <laughs> we, got eyes. we zoned out into each other. <laughs> there. I would Bro, get, honestly, I would get lost we need, we need pink hue and just like <laughs> right. magical music. It's right? like he was so focused on my answer. He's like, <laughs> well, we have a star projector right here, bro. We'll, we'll get a real romantic. No, bro, so like the erotic. best best pasta in in Miracle Mile. There's this place called Fratellino. Yeah, Fratellino is a really good spot, and you're not eating in a restaurant really. You eat. You're pretty much eating at someone's house. Like this guy, the owner, they have pictures of their family around. Like, it's nothing like a real restaurant. You. And it's mostly reservations only. I think it's reservations only, except for lunch. So when you show up, they pretty much know who you are. Right. Even, like, because they know what time you have the reservation. And the guy's really good with names. And like, the times I went, like, I opened the door. And he's like, hey, Francisco. And I was like, <laughs> wow. how do you even know? Uh, like, uh, is this the FBI? Yeah. <laughs> they have been watching you. <laughs> <laughs> smell very nice <laughs> so and like they welcome you and then like, you sit down and, like everybody's extremely friendly and like you know it's literally like i'm saying like it's it's like if you're eating dinner at what's someone's the, what's house what's the price range no it's not even that expensive like the most expensive thing might be like 20 bucks did oh, anybody God. hear that shit <sighs> i'd be tripping so the most expensive thing is like 20 bucks and that's like if you want to go for really the most expensive thing Oh, that's not bad no, at all. The other, at all. the other ones are like 15, 14, and they're like really good. Like okay. really, really good. That's like the best pasta, I, I think. Miracle Mile, huh? And yeah. And as far as uh, desserts go, are you a big sweets guy? I am extremely into sweets. Yeah. Like, mm, tram is not, which I enjoy because I don't have to share most of my desserts. <laughs> <That's beautiful. laughs> it's the best. It's the best. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's yeah, beautiful. you know, yeah. you know when you have, you have a girlfriend or a wife, or whatever, and they're like, yeah, you lose can, I ha- can I have a bite? No, they're oh, like, oh, I'm not hungry, and then they eat everything. Yeah. And I always yeah. offer though because it's nice, but I, 99 percent of the time, I know that she's gonna say no. And I'm always, like, oh, babe, you want some? Um, no, is, is that dulce leche? No, I'm like, okay. What? Oh, <laughs> yeah, dude. So like, I'm huge, huge into desserts. Uh, so desserts. My favorite. I mean, it's gonna always gonna be Chilean. Lit. <laughs> <laughs> Boo. Lit. <laughs> bro, bro, that there, okay, who's got a damn, who's, yo, hurricane alert. Shut the fuck up. That ain't mine. Bro, there's a ghost phone in here, what the fuck is going on? Okay. Is it the computer? Maybe it's no, you know what that was? That was an alert. The second he said Chile, it started going off. And that's I think what it so. Is. I think so. I think the fo- I think it might have been my phone then because it's Peruvian phone and it, it detected enemies. Well, supposedly it's a tornado know. warning, but you know. For real? Who who? Bro, ain't no tornado gonna stop a damn podcast. Yeah, yeah, yo. yo. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. Ain't no tornado stopping no damn podcast. 
Nah, That's man. fantastic, dude. Insurance. Like, get a better one. Bro. What about my rims? <laughs> shout out to Vo- shout out to Boston for my rims. <laughs> what about my rims, hey, bro? bro? Tornado comes through. Bet money that he's gonna win today. Bet money. I think what, that. What about my rims, bro? <laughs> Yeah, I work hard for them rims, dog. So the best dessert. Best dessert. So you go to this Chilean, any Chilean place. It's called... Well, maybe they have it in Peru, too, because they copy everything that we do. Uh, it's called... Yeah, you might go, bro. <laughs> it's called uh, Faufa de Ceviche. No, mm. mentira. No, se llama, tor- <laughs> se llama torta, torta de Milojas. Oh, yeah, ah, no, 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 no. But yeah, well, Okay, but at least, at least they didn't steal that one from us this time. They took that one from you guys. Déjame decir. Yeah, los milojas. La torta miloja, you know, is like layers and layers and layers of dulce de leche. Dude, layers. And that, and that, but like a layer, thousand, fucking a thousand layers, right? layers. Sometimes it's a thousand and two, a thousand and one. Yeah, because it's know, mil hojas. Yeah. Us count. Chileans cannot be perfect. Come on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad we see eye to eye on something. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh. so I I get that shit for my birthday. My mom buys me always a cake of that. Hell That's yeah. why I, I usually think I can't lose weight. Because I love that shit. Like Dude. anything dulce de leche really is my go-to. Hell yeah! Okay, so outside oh, of and salty donut. Sorry, the no. salt, the salty donut. I haven't had it. Oh, is that the one in Winwood? They have they have one in Winwood and Coral shit? Gables by UM. Bro. I had this donut. It was like bacon or some shit. Yeah. Nah, fuck that. Oh, bro, no, it's, wait a it's, minute. That's the that, the oh, bacon. The bacon is probably one of the best Dude. donuts Get they the have. Because out my out mind is but like, it's why sweet. would you put it's fucking sweet. bacon yeah, on my donut? It up. Try but it. also, bacon is one of the best foods in the world. So I was like, I guess we're gonna have to try it. Literally. And. <laughs> And it did not disappoint at all, dude. It did not disappoint at all. It is maple bacon, yeah. But the, like, yeet. It, dude, it's like and least, it's weird. Like it's, least, it throws me off because the fucking donut. Such a quiet yeet. <laughs> eat. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Eat. It's fucking diet, dude. It's fucking diet. <laughs> <laughs> he said it so low key. <laughs> <laughs> Silent but deadly. You know? The tears are on the verge, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway. Yeah, but that salty donut hits. hits. No, it's fire. That's one of my favorite yeah. spots. Uh, besides the bacon, what else? Uh, as um, as the salty donut. They, I had a tres leches one. Did they you have the tres, tres leches. leches they have a white chocolate. They have Ooh, like legit. guava for people that like guava. So are you big into also like these uh these uh night uh cookie spots? Yeah. Night Owl, what is some other ones? I just, uh, I just. There's laughs. Night Owl, what else? What? Min, midnight Cookies, I think they have. No. Midnight another Cookies, one. I had that not too long ago. I delicious. had that too. There's a ago. bunch of different ones. I yeah, there's, there's a third one too. I forgot that's a booming called. business in Miami right now, yeah. man. And sweets is like killing it. Yo, why no, is, is that? Wh- because they know their demographic. Why is the cameraman talking? <laughs> <laughs> Speak your piece. Nah, everyone doesn't want cookies. Hey, Amen. Oh, uh, shit. Why, <laughs> why is the cameraman talking? <laughs> uh, I know Lucas is enjoying this episode. Oh, fuck yeah, yeah dude. <laughs> but um, other, other companies that we, well, not companies that we love to support, and speaking of sweet, is uh, during quarantine, a lot of people became chefs, a lot of people became bakers, and they try to open up their own little Instagram That's selling that. stuff. Mm-hmm. And it's also... Um, that that has been a lot of well, good for us, the blog and the belly, because you know they, <laughs> these years, and they're like, hey, like, will you mind just advertising our product? And here's like some cookies or whatever. So, and then like, it's just amazing. A lot of people are. Yeah, it is a big thing. You're right, because this girl I follow on Instagram, all of a sudden she makes fucking cookies now. Yeah, you know. Yeah, like it's a it's a thing I've noticed. Yeah. It's actually a few of the girls. Yeah, like it's a trend that's that's yeah. happening. They my, like send them out. They usually is what it is. They send them to you. Yeah, yeah. My girl ma- makes dumplings now. She she's planning to start selling them soon. Oh, for real? Yeah, yeah. But right now, for but like not cooked. No, no, no. Frozen. She just oh. makes them, freezes them. Yo, like dude, I'll fuck up some dumplings. Once, dude. let me know. When once that a month or like once every month and a half, she she makes dumplings. Maybe like two months because she makes like I'm not lying, ten pounds of dumplings at a time. 
10 pounds of it. Of like soup dumplings, pork, shrimp dumplings, any type of dumpling. And she just says there f- it's like a six hour job. And she just does it while I play Call of Duty. So it's like an even exchange. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and every like two hours ago, I'll, I'll go and I'm, oh, babe, looking That's good. good. <laughs> Looks good. Jesus. Where no. Carter? <laughs> she- <laughs> That's yeah, that sweatshop dude. mentality, brother, you right there. Just- Walk over, <laughs> keep over behind her shoulder, and be like, <laughs> <laughs> "Sorry, I'm on the phone. Uh, so disrespectful." Yeah, Yo, key. if she if she sells dumplings, let me know for sure, though. Nah, like, yeah. oh, actually, we gave them out to we gave some for we gave to Allison and Lucas for the baby shower, and they say oh, they were amazing. Like, we didn't bring diapers, nothing for the baby, just dumplings. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, the baby's gonna eat that yeah, shit. Exactly. Yeah. You know? No, actually, Lucas ate him only. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they said they were amazing. They're like, oh my god, like please, like let us know when you're gonna sell them or some. I yeah, dude, straight up, I'll and fuck up some dumplings. We had some friends over. We had like a dumpling workshop in my house, like oh, literally. Yeah. Hell yeah. Um, this girl and her boyfriend came in, and they like just tram taught him how to make dumplings. <laughs> yeah, so she. That's one of the things that she started doing during quarantine. Like that's all these other people. Gang right there. Dumplings. Uh, teaching them the tricks of the trade right there. Yeah. And then I had to put some inputs, so we made empanadas like two, three, di- two weeks ago, one week ago. <clears throat> so far, Chilean empanadas superior. Um, okay, well, we tried to not give a <coughs> fake news yeah. podcast, so uh, <laughs> let's not do that. Okay. I think I think war is about to happen. <laughs> yeah. I think war is about to happen. Oh, and you know what? Interestingly enough, <laughs> Argentina backed Peru up in that war, actually, now that I remember it. In the war, hey, where, which one? In the Copa America? Okay. Just kidding. That was cute. That was cute. That was cute. That was cute. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, what, like, where, was, where was the coach from that gave you your best ever run? I don't know. I think from Argentina. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, every week, you know, we have a segment. You know, and that's a uh, movie. Re- Are you good? Yeah. You good? Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Is that uh, I have a friend from Chile staying with me and I'm afraid that he's lost in Miami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> t- today, like I woke up and he wasn't there and sometimes he doesn't have internet or something. So yeah. when I see his name pop up in my phone, it's like, yeah. como un hijo, like, yeah, yeah. Ay, ¿dónde está? I, Mi pollito. <laughs> I don't know how your parents call you. Yeah, but definitely not that. Lit. Uh, <laughs> Every week we have a segment uh, called movie reviews. You know what I'm talking about? The movie, the weekly movie review. And it could be a movie. It could be a film. It could be a show. It could be anything. You know what I'm saying? As long as it pertains to the media, Mm -hmm. to the media arts somehow, ladies and gentlemen. And this week I have actually a documentary, a documentary for you. You know what I'm saying? You can check this beautiful piece of art on Netflix. Ladies and gentlemen, that is American Murder, Oof. The Family Next Door. Um, <laughs> um, and, uh, and that's actually the case. I don't know if you heard. Um, that's what we were talking about beforehand. Um, um, I believe his name is Andrew Watts. Andrew uh, Watts? Andrew Watts. A- Andrew Watts? Watts? Oh, um, he killed. Did he kill? Sorry, Sorry, spoiler alert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Spo- so spoiler his, alert. his his uh his wife Shanann Shanann Watts 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 and uh and and his two daughters and actually the wife was pregnant too. Yeah. Um, it's actually crazy because you see the body cam of the officer. <coughs> Excuse me. When they go into the house, so when they first report her missing. It's her best friend that I guess they had plans or whatever. Um, she wasn't answering. The car was still there. Like, her, her shoes weren't still in front of the house. Like, a lot of, like, sus shit. Uh, and uh, and they, they, call, they call the police to do a wellness check. Uh, and uh, they finally call the, uh, the husband to come over. And just, like, to see, the, to see a person that has to, that you know is lying. Because, obviously, you know, he's already been convicted and all this. Uh, and he's already confessed. But you know that this person is lying, and they did, they've done something so grotesque, like so gruesome. Um, and just to s- s- like study the body language of like how like how would you react in a position where a police officer is in your house, and this happened less than twenty four hours ago in your house. He pulls up to the house in the pickup truck that he dumped the bodies in. 
And lastly, his neighbor had a like had a camera, um, and you can see when he's loading the bodies into the truck. And so the cop takes the husband to the neighbor's house because he's like, oh, I have a camera, blah, 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 and he, like to go over. And so he's literally watching himself load his wife and daughter's bodies into the truck on the TV with a cop there. Like, that's so insane to try to... Mind you, you can tell that this guy's, like, losing it. This <laughs> yeah. guy's having a fucking mental breakdown. He's, like, pale. He's fucking, like, flushed, sweating. You know, this guy is not looking good. And uh, <clears throat> I'm telling you, it's a great fucking documentary. You cannot miss it. Uh, and that is the feel-good movie of the week. American yeah. Murder. <laughs> I feel so sad now. Dude. American <laughs> Murder. The family next door. I did you not know, smile once. It, the, whole time. Yeah. Uh, the entire Bro, I'm telling you, uh, it's not the feel-good film of the year, but it is fascinating. And he threw them in an oil tanker. Yeah, there you go. See, know. He knows the details. He yeah. threw the daughters in the oil. I actually, all, all you were them. smiling while you said he threw <laughs> the daughters in the oil tank. <laughs> These Chileans, dude, you bro, know? Yeah. ruthless, yeah. bro. Right, right, I know, right, right, ruthless. Right, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's honestly, it's a great fucking documentary. Uh, I highly recommend it. I highly recommend it. It's not, you know, the great, you know, if you're into, listen, if you're into, uh, what is snuff it? films? No, yeah, but also. Um, What's that fucking mur murder documentaries? You know, I'm telling you, it's fucking great. If you're into anything like that, or uh, what was this? What was this podcast? Show? Uh, cereal. Oh, cereal, cereal. Oh, I'm telling you, it's great. Let's get on that. <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely check it out. Fine show. ASMR King. Uh, <laughs> oh, I, I thought you guys couldn't hear me. I'm sorry. Oh, we totally can. <laughs> yeah. And so did the I guess yours is more, yours is much louder than mine. Oh, super. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, in case you heard like, sorry. Uh, if you heard wet noises, if you heard moist noises, that was Pancho. And what? Thanks. <laughs> thanks. Please that's, stop. That's the new videos that he's gonna start getting into. Yeah. Yeah. They're gonna eat stuff silently. Yeah. For yeah. sure. Just the, yeah. Uh, mm. Pancho, before I get into my next segment, which is one of my favorites, actually, um, what do you think, uh, do you feel that you've dived into, uh, you said you, you found a new love for like Asian dishes or Vietnamese dishes, uh, why don't you tell me a little bit about that? Had you kind of like dived into that, that world before, or did you not know about it at all? I know you were telling us about a, you know, like a pita sauce and you know, all these different culinary uh, practices that they do. Why don't you tell me a little bit about that? I mean, to be honest, before I was extremely ignorant when it comes to ethnic food and food that's not from here. Like, man, I, I probably never even had a dumpling before. Yeah, you know, like <clears throat> I, I was showing uh, Emilio like a rice roll, a, a summer roll. You never seen that shit before. I've never seen it. It looked it, delicious. It's, as fuck. it's literally like a, a rice paper with like a little bit of herbs. Some noodles, rice that noodles. Herbs, you, know. you gotta have the veggies in there, man, you know? And then three shrimp, or sometimes it's pork, and you just roll it up, and it's like a little tiny burrito, a rice roll burrito. You dip it. For us, I mean, that sounds kind of weird. Like, what the hell is a, even a rice roll? Have you ever seen yeah, that? Like, no, I had never seen that shit either, yeah. I've never seen a rice roll. So it's like all these, like, crazy things, like... I'm not into the peanut sauce, personally. It takes a while, for, you know? Like, oh, that sauce looks... And how they, how they make pho? Have you ever had pho or pho? Yeah, or pho? I, I worked at a Vietnamese restaurant when I first moved. You, to you know when when they cook pho, when they give you the pho, the the, the meat is raw. It's raw. So it cooks in the. It cooks in front of you when they pour the the, the oh, broth shit. in. Yeah. So it's like you know like and they eat like. Oh, the banh mi. Yeah, banh mi is fucking amazing, yeah. and it's literally just like a what you would call a sub here in America. It's like a French baguette, like a Vietnamese French baguette. Uh, that's insulting baguettes everywhere, but okay. <laughs> no, because they're different. They're different baguettes. Okay. All baguettes matter. <laughs> <laughs> and and they're just like, they have, I don't know, man. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just the way they use their veggies, it completely changes the flavors. It's not just like one straight flavor. Hey, here's the one flavor you're going to eat. Like your, I don't know, your empanada de carne, la empanada y la carne, and that's it. Or la empanada de queso, el queso, y listo. 
Um, and this one's just like, all right, first when you bite it, you, oh my God, you can taste like the cucumbers and then they're playing along with the carrots, but oh my God, there's like pork in there. And then the pork is like messing around with some shrimp. Why is there even shrimp on this? <laughs> you know, and it just, oh my God, there's mint. I didn't even know you can eat mint. And then like, you're biting into this shit and it's like an explosion of flavors in your mouth. I love how, I love the passion behind it. Yeah. It's because I think Vietnamese food is superior. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. It's like... I. <clears throat> Like, I'm gonna be honest with you. I haven't had uh, a, a bowl. Food. A bowl of pho when you're like hungover or you're tired, you're kind of sick. I think it's like. I don't best. know. I've had a lot of Vietnamese food. Not a fan, personally. And to superior. Not so bad. pho. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> not a fan. Right, listen, I worked at one for a long time, uh, for a decent amount to the point where they made me eat everything on the menu. Mm. Um, I'm not saying it's bad. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying it's superior. I would never say it's superior. Uh, so what? What are the big? What are the big uh, Vietnamese ones? Pho. They have banh mi, and then they have like all these other like rice platters. It's just mm-hmm. like. I guess I've never had Vietnamese food before. And the, I fuck with the pho. The pho yeah. is nice. So it's it's because I've had the ramen. And, and then they have like but it, no, but there's other t- different types of of pho. I mean, it's not called pho. Pho is actually the type of noodle that's used. I'm sure you know that. Mm-hmm. That pho is the type of noodle that's used inside the broth. Mm-hmm. And then there's like bambuwe. Bambuwe is like they use like a shrimp paste and they cook the shrimp paste. That's a funny word. Yeah. <laughs> Which uh, I really fuck with the Vietnamese coffee though. I'll tell you that. Vietnamese coffee, they make it with like condensed milk. Yeah, it's delicious. <clears throat> and it, Vietnamese, right? Okay, that I will give you. <clears throat> Vietnamese coffee, <clears throat> respect. And they just, they love their f- seafood, but they also love fuck like, and they love putting the parts of the, of the animal that you will never eat. Like... <laughs> 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 like some questionable shit apparently. Esto una pinga. <laughs> <laughs> es una pinga. <laughs> if it looks like it, <laughs> probably is. Um, but yeah, yeah but I mean, a lot of Asian food, not just Vietnamese. I'm not just saying Vietnamese is superior. I think Asian is superior. That that was what yeah, I was. You sound a little, little biased right now. <laughs> no. <laughs> And Chilean is superior. Oh, okay. <laughs> what he Besides, means by Chilean is Peruvian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yo, why is uh, the camera? <laughs> <laughs> why is the cameraman talking, bro? <laughs> um, what uh, besides Vietnamese food though, what are some other, I guess, like exotic quote unquote foods that you that you eaten that you when you started this blog that you wouldn't have eaten before that you hadn't. Um, I mean, now I'm like good and in, big into Mediterranean food, Turkish food. Um, there's this like laksa. Have you ever had laksa? It's just, so it's like a yogurt paste or some shit with like olive oil. Like why would you ever mix yogurt with olive oil? But like, it sounds weird, but okay. it's amazing. It's like something, it's kind of like you put it on top of steaks and with salads. It's like, okay. you know, or you can just eat it like that really. And it's, you know. Things like that that you find out through. A lot of those things, I feel like I have to just being open minded. Really, when somebody yeah. offers you something, you you just gotta say, "Hey, yes." And I'm not gonna lie, and my girl knows this. I ha- there's I haven't. I, I'm always totally honest. I'm not gonna. I never tell her, "Oh my god, babe, this is so good." Because if I tell her that it's good, she's gonna make it again. And there's been times that she like cooked like a mint soup, and I was like, "Babe, please don't ever make this again." But I was open minded enough to try it. I try it, you know. No, of course I'll try it. You gotta yeah, yeah. try it. Yeah, yeah. Try and then just being open minded, just like it opens up like a whole new world of things. Like I've some kid I used to work with. Like we gave. Him, have you ever had duck? Mm-hmm. I think it's amazing. Duck is really good. And yeah. this kid had never tried duck in his life. And then we, he didn't want to try. We forced him to. We like tied him down. We're like try this shit. You put him in the uh, tuba closet. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And then he got hit. <laughs> no, and then he like tried it and like didn't even give it a chance. He just like spit it out. Like you know, like you can't live like that. You gotta like be open minded. Yeah, that's so boring. Yeah, I actually rather duck over chicken. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, I love chicken too. Yeah, though. I'm not really a fan of chicken. No, chicken's just bland to me. It's just kind of whatever. I love chicken. Yeah, Chick Fil A does yeah. that shit. Right, yeah. Popeye is better though. Publix chicken. Oh. Popeye's chicken sandwich is better. Church's chicken. Church's chicken is fire. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, every week we have another segment. You know what it is, you know, and that's the quest for the truth. And in the quest for the truth, I am going to pick a card from this here deck and I'm going to ask 
this here damn question to everybody in here. Thank you, ASMR. <laughs> it's what I do. <laughs> Are we live right now? Like, oh, is there yeah. a, is there a platform where people watch us live? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For real? Uh, nice. Only fans. Only fans. <laughs> <laughs> So all these questions have to do with relationships. So, <laughs> <¿Cuántas>? <laughs> what's the most you ever put up your your plate, like the food plate? Oh, okay. Uh, I thought that was maybe yeah. somewhere else. It, I know. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna pick somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, right. I wish we could turn the cameras to like that way. We see Diego's dying in a corner. Diego's fucking yeah. I think he has COVID. Coronavirus. Okay. Um, COVID I'm baby. Pick one. Uh, Bro, you just ran through like nine of them. I ran like nine. I'm just a COVID baby. All right, this is going to take a while, but fuck it. We will start. No, Diego's going to take seven years to answer this. We'll start with Emmy. All right. Um, put you on the spot like the uh, your mama joke, you know? Uh, dude, Hopefully, we're on the up. same realm. Ladies and gentlemen, Pancho, you good? Yeah. List up to five books or films. That have made a profound impact on you and explain why. Wow, that is so. I have to name five? <laughs> or like we're all of us name five together? No, no, you name five. We'll start with Emmy. Um, the Godfather. Because uh, that's how I polished my English into removing an accent. Um, Scarface, because that's gang shit. Um, Shout out to Tony Montana. Antonio Montana, man. Numero tres. Um, there was a book. I gotta throw a book in there, right? I can't just be the yeah, asshole that just says movies. Yeah. Uh, La Ciudad de los Perros, creo que se llama. I don't read books. Oh, was based in Chile? Uh, no, but it is written <laughs> by a Peruvian that... <laughs> Hates to be Peruvian. I think he th- it says he's Spanish. Or that he hates being Peruvian. Yeah. I mean, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Como like un ben de patria. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He nah. doesn't. He doesn't like. He doesn't rep being Peruvian. That's wild. Uh, great book, though. Great fucking book. Really okay. good book. Um, El Principito. Yeah. You know, that's that gang shit right there, bro. Never read it. I don't know that. What's I don't read. Wrong with I don't read books. Uh, your parents and um. Last one would be Tiger King. Tiger King. <laughs> Tiger King. <laughs> um. Scary but it's good. Fuck, dude. I don't know. Uh, we'll just go with the Dr. Seuss, I guess. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Yeah. All the places you'll go. That was beautiful. Diego, Miami Barber. Yes. Tell me. Pretty cool. Number two. For real? I just actually watched them like a month ago. Apparently, I had only watched two of them. What? And uh, not all they're fucking hyped up to be. Uh, okay. I think you're yeah, right. Yeah, let's pump. It's kind of like. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Yo, this fucking cameraman is getting lippy, dude. For yeah. real, dude. <laughs> Can't be talking to the guests. Number like, three. Um, what do you mean? He just gave like nine. Eight. Yeah. All right. This is like nineteen yeah. fucking yeah. movies, bro. It's like, give me uh, five movies. Harry Potter one. Harry Potter two. All right, back show. Let's go. What are your five? <laughs> sí. ¿Qué dijo? <laughs> did you actually read any of the books? I did. I yeah. Didn't re- I, the last book I read was the Angela mm. Prince. Like, Dude. Once I 
spoiler alert, oh yo. Oh my god. <laughs> Listen, I my mom bought me the first book, whatever the fuck it's called, and I read the first Sorcerer's paragraph. Stone? The Sorcerer's Stone. The, or first the Philosopher's book, Stone in Europe. The first paragraph, and I threw the fucking book in the trash. <laughs> it was uh, no, boring fuck as fuck. Here. No. 97 million pages just to say a little kid met two other little no, kids man. and they became friends. That's you just yeah. that's you, just yeah. your dyslexia, bro. Yeah. Come on, man. Like, yeah. Pancho. Yeah. 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 Pancho, what are your five? Really yeah. 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 Shout out JK Rowling. Shout out JK. <laughs> <laughs> what are your five, Pancho? All right. So recently I watched this movie, Tiger Hunter. It's really good. It's about. Uh, an Indian man who gets his engineering degree in India and wants to pursue a better life in America. When he comes to America, he realizes that life ain't as good as they make it seem. And he struggles, struggles, until he fights hard enough for what he wants, and then he achieves, you know, the American dream in a way. So that was like a very, you know... Wait a minute, wait a minute. There's no tiger? Yeah, because his dad is a tiger hunter. Oh, and he and he teaches him that a tiger hunter, you know, he hunts for what he wants. You okay, know? okay. Cause so when he I moves to America, tigers. he lives in a in a like two bedroom apartment or like a one bedroom apartment with like thirteen Indians. Like it's all like terrible, terrible, terrible. Fuck. And you know him coming with like an engineering engineering degree, he thinks he's gonna like come and like I work for like I don't know Apple or Microsoft, whatever. And then you know he had, he spends the, pretty much the whole movie trying to develop a microwave that works, and and it, it's really good. Shout Interesting. Okay. Um, uh, man, I, I haven't, uh, to be honest, I don't think I've ever read a book ever since I was forced to in high school and <laughs> middle school. Shout out Bernstein Bears. But, uh, you know, in school I do read like 200 to 300 pages a week and it's really annoying. It doesn't give me time for books. Uh, movies, Titanic. You put a textbook in there. Because. <laughs> Titanic, bro. Put a textbook in there. Jack and Rose is the, it's like the, the stone of love, you know, you know, this guy fucking gave her a door. He froze. I f- uh, listen, bro. I feel like he fit on that door. He fit in that door. He fit in they that did door. that on Mythbusters, but supposedly the door it would have sank. It would have sank. Yeah. yeah. With the weight. Yeah. And if he would have tried to go up, you know, like it would have like tilted over, and then mm. she would have frozen. Yeah. She'd be like, Jack, come back, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> you know that scene? Yeah. 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 At the end. The sure. end. Yeah. Spoiler alert. So, <laughs> this sinks. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> the, the ship, ship sinks. sinks. <laughs> oh, spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> Um, damn, you guys put me in the spot. The whole t- I should have been thinking the whole time you guys were talking. Yeah, I, was like, yeah, I was just being a tent- I thought that's what you were doing. No, I mean, <laughs> I was just thinking about what to eat today. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Lito. Lito. <laughs> and clutch burger, burger. clutch burger. That yeah, burger might be. shout out Steve. Um, damn, man, I don't know. Too many, too many mo- good two movies. More, two, more. two more or books. I can't, yeah, yeah. I right, bring it, bringing back democracy to Haiti by something Stotsky, Professor Stotsky. It's a book I'm yeah. reading right now. Yeah. It's Sounds uh, so boring. It actually kind of is, but it's very interesting because it it, it just talks about how when the Haitian over government got overthrown, and then my now professor he like works next to the side of the then to be president to like kind of like achieve all the shit with America and how America invaded Haiti. If you guys didn't know, America invaded Haiti. To bring yeah. democracy back, you know, you know what America does? It's like, oh no, communism, we're gonna kill you, nigga. <laughs> Pretty much how it goes. There you go. And that's why the Vietnam War. Did you know that the Vietnam War was actually America? Even though they make it think it's not, America was the good side. Well, there you go. So okay. those, uh, we're always the good side. Those that opposed the war was actually against communism. And now my my girl, she like hates communists and she hates everything communist. Oh, can we cut that out? The Probably com- not. The government can't hear that. Uh, <laughs> they'll, they'll Good thing she's here. They'll kill her, dude. Good thing she's here. Hey, listen. If the government is listening to our podcast, uh, we made it. You know Fuck what I'm communism. <laughs> hit, hit that subscribe. Hey, hit that subscribe, baby. Government, <laughs> government of Vietnam, please. You know what um, I'm talking about. And other movies? No, I don't know, man. I've seen. Is that I watch way too many movies? Way, way, hey, way, man, way, man. way, way, no way, worries, way too many no movies. No worries. Ladies and gentlemen, you know we have we have had a, a man today that came and he presented a a, a wide array of opinions. Oh wait. Sorry to interrupt. We never uh-huh. finished the topic about the giveaway. Giveaway. <laughs> go sign up. It's over on Monday. Okay, go. <laughs> Don't worry. I was about to get toss the ball for you to do yeah. that. But you're good. Giveaway. Giveaway. Giveaway where? Where can they find it? Eat, food, sleep, repeat on Instagram. We 
partnered up with Keto Candy Girl to give away a bag of brownie fucking mix. And it's easy to make, ironic. You literally just need 50 minutes of your life, and then you can eat 20 brownies because it's low carbs, no sugar, mad swag. Keto Candy Girl. Yeah, yeah. That's the fine print. Pastillas no incluidas. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, today we had a man, you know what I'm saying, bestow a wide array of opinions on food. You know what I'm saying? Tell you some of the best spots in Miami. You found some of the higher spots in Miami for burgers. Where's that? Clutch burger. Well, you know, you need pasta. Where you go? Fratellino. You need, you need desserts. Where do you go? Sabores chilenos. <laughs> wow. you know, we had this build up we had this build up yeah, and then yeah. boom and then, it, it, yeah it used to be only this mobile but then we took all the land from Peru yeah you want to swing by Pinochet's bakery <laughs> it's delicious yeah that's beautiful that's beautiful um, unfortunately Chile probably won't make it to uh, you know the elim 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 eliminatorias you know what I'm saying you better get uh, what do you play guys who do I a rough game. I think we play Brazil, dude. Damn. Because yeah, I think it's Brazil and Paraguay. Caralho, gente. Viado. Viado. Peru vai fazer merda. I forgot what Colombia plays. Pau muito grande. Vai ficar seu pau su cu. I don't understand shit, dude. Seems I, gente, not, I haven't drank enough to understand no. that language. Agora a gente vai continuar em português somente. Vai, uh, obrigado por ter... <laughs> é, porra. Ei, hey, obrigado por ter ido hoje. Uh, é... Obrigado, graças por ter ido hoje em dia. Eu vou te dar um nicho para chamar o Walsh Megoran. Algo meu não é feixoada. É o que é o pau de queijo. Shout out to Lucas Quinta. Yeah, dude. That's 100%. That's for Quinta right there. Ei, assim, o Caipirinha... Yo, yeah, wait, funny story with Quinta before right, we continue. Go, 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 Yo, go. I was I, I went to Europe for the first time like two years ago, three years ago. And Quinta, I, I nobody wanted to go with me. So I was like, yo, Quinta, you live in Europe. Let's do a little Euro trip together. We even went to like Ultra in Croatia. We did all this crazy shit. We got Super cool. We got yeah, lit right. everywhere. Like everywhere we lit. Like we went we were late for Ultra, so we pre-gamed in, in the Germany waiting room in the airport, whatever they're called. The you know, mm -hmm. those VIP rooms. Because um Lucas has a uh, Lufthansa connection. Shout out Lufthansa. <laughs> <laughs> I like saying that. <laughs> and um, it was like fingers. it was like nine in the morning, and our flight was like in an hour. So like, all right, let's go to this room. They have unlimited free alcohol. Boom, boom, boom. Pre-game, pre-game. Then we went to duty free. We bought a bottle. When we got to Croatia, we were lit. We drinking. Anyway, in Amsterdam, he was so lit. We were both so lit. And he was like, bro, like. Every time, like I hang out with like a friend, or like he, like they come from like wherever, like they always happen to burn me with a cigarette, and I was like, okay. He's like, Pancho, I need you to burn me with a cigarette, <laughs> and I was like, what? He's like, Pancho, just grab my arm and take your cigarette and put it in my arm, and I was like, you sure? He's like, do it. <laughs> like, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> he's he like, got mental health yo. is very important. <laughs> and I know if he's gonna watch this, he's, he's gonna remember gonna. that. He's gonna be like. Ah, eu lembro isso. Ah, eu lembro. Yeah. Eu tava doido. Ah. <laughs> and he's like, bro. And I just held it for like three seconds. He's like, okay, enough. <laughs> and then the next day, a huge bubble, and uh, that was that was it. Another story. Fucking <laughs> Quinta. Quinta and Skypeini. Get out. it together. Shout bro. out to Quinta. Bro. Captain Morgan. Tighten up. Tighten up. Yeah. Tighten up. He needs to tighten it's up. Ridiculous. Yo, tighten bro. up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you did it. And I did it for three seconds, and that's it. And then like. Three, just three seconds. Yeah, but like I was like, stop. I'm okay. <laughs> okay. Fine. I'll stop. It's like <laughs> his college days getting branded. Yeah, yeah. It's like that. Good. Never yeah. happened. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. That's beautiful. Shout out. You see, and that is, this man bestowed upon us so many stories. You know, so many stories of good times uh, back in the olden days or. Or uh, with faces you haven't met yet, but you surely will. Shout out Quinta. Uh, you know, but uh, in all honesty, Pancho, thank you so much for uh, dropping by today. You know, we uh, definitely had a blast. It definitely did feel like we were back in our VMS Dude, cafeteria. Yeah, yeah, for real. Yeah, 100%. Reminiscing, reminiscing. Uh, we can't wait to, to definitely have you back. Pancho, if, if the people, you know, they want to check out... Uh, 
some of your reviews, some of your uh, you know recommendations, where can they check you out? IG, eat food, sleep repeat. We don't okay. apply none of the sleeping into the blog, but we're hoping to start introducing mattresses and places I'm, places to sleep. I got Tempur-Pedic sponsorship. Exactly, exactly. I shout out Tempur-Pedic. Shout out Tempur-Pedic. <laughs> Tempur That's beautiful. <laughs> no, so go to IG, if we sleep repeat, 100% honest blogs, uh, honest reviews. You what, know. Can, what, uh, what can they expect when they are from follow? Greatness. Oh. You know, a, a post almost every day. We, we make one post every day. Um, not only you get to see restaurants, you get to see recipes. You see, you get to see how tos. You know, um, recently we made a Vietnamese pancakes. I think I was showing you yeah. how to They're like delicious. You know, it's like these egg tortilla, whatever, some crazy shit with shrimp and pork in between, and like I don't know, a lot of crazy shit and mint. Vietnamese people love mint. Shout out mint, and uh, they use a lot of mint. What about uh, <laughs> I have a, what about Vietnamese uh, desserts? What are some of those? Oh man, to be honest. I don't think I've ever had a... It's big, big, they're not even big into sweets. I mean, obviously, the coffee's a fucking like, dessert. It's like, got leche yeah, condensada. Yeah, I mean, from what I've heard, it's supposedly... Like you legit brew the coffee on top of the leche condensada. Literally, and it, and it comes down, and it's like... I mean, leche condensada with coffee falling into a cup, and then you just drink that. Sounds... Mm. Like leche. <laughs> <laughs> so, look, every day, almost every day, expect a post. It could be a restaurant that we reviewed because we were invited or something or it could be a small business trying to trying to be on the come up sometimes you know we buy we, we buy cookies and we're like hey look this person has 15 followers let's buy some cookies usually cheap like five or ten bucks and let's post them and let's see how it goes so expect small businesses oh yeah good businesses uh, restaurants, how tos, and you know, quality content all the time. That's beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. Can we give this man a hand? You know what I'm saying? A round of applause. This man right here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The people, they clamor. They clamor. Give them, give them fun, uh, gun fingers. Gun, gun fingers. Hey. You know what I'm saying? There we go. There we go. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, every Thursday at midnight, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, he's getting near me. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, every Thursday at no, you're gonna stay. Every Thursday at midnight, what you doing? You know what I'm saying? You're chilling, you're working, you need to do that damn thing. And uh, you know, what are you gonna do? You're gonna hit that follow, that subscribe. We're on Instagram, on YouTube, on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Deezer, Stitcher. Bro, I don't even know. I, bro, we're on oh, we just got approved for fucking uh iHeartRadio. What? Shout out iHeartRadio. Tumblr. Yeah. I Pinterest. Radio. You know what I'm saying? iHeartRadio. So iHeartRadio. I fully expect tickets to the iHeartRadio uh, concert. What was the thing? That snowball, damn thing. Something snowball. That Snowball. Power 96 thing. You know what I'm saying? We, uh, we should get tickets. Gang, indeed. And you know what? At Thursday at midnight, it's a little bit too late. Friday. It's the last day of the damn week. You work and you put that shit on the background. You hear Pancho and I, we talk about a little bit of food, a little bit of DMS, a little bit of this, a little bit, bit of that. Uh, <laughs> <Lito. laughs> uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in. We will see you next week. I'm telling you, hit that subscribe for all the guests that we are going to have on the show. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you oh so very much. It's been oh so very real. When you can push it to the limit, it gets real with only one and ill. You're locked into it.